metres to walk in 45 minutes. It's not that bad. So you're not going to be running through the cave. I'll be giving you time when we stop to get photos. You can take photos on your way through as well. But as we're walking, you'll need to take them pretty much as we're walking because there'll be another group right behind us as there is one right in front of us. Now, we have some rules in the cave. Guess what the most important rule is, kids? Have fun, have Who said that? <laughs> Spot on. That's exactly it. You weren't here yesterday, were you? No. Oh, that's the first time anyone's come up with that. Really, I've got to remind people, you're here to have fun. They're gone. That's good, so we can go in the minute. So that is important to have fun because some of us are travelling all the way, right? And all of us have paid a lot of money, right, to get into the caves. So it is important to have fun in the cave, but we do have some serious rules in the cave. Our most important rule, other than having fun, is that don't we don't know. touch any of the calcite formations. You're right onto it. If we do touch the calcite formations, many are fragile and will break. We don't want that to happen. Even if they don't break, the oil off our skin stops them from growing. Now, who's about 10 years old? You're about 10 years old, stand up again. You're about 10 years old, stand up again. Close enough. If you guys were a stalagmite, see that little gap between my fingers? And you're as old as you are now, that's how big you'd be. That's how long it takes them to grow. About one millimetre every 10 years. If we touch them, we destroy them. So it's very important we don't touch them. One way or another, we'll damage them if we touch them. And that damage will be irreversible. Another important rule in the cave, guys, we don't take food and drinks into the cave. That's why someone's left their picnic there, no doubt. Well, I think the apple was here yesterday. <laughs> don't take the apple, it's probably not much good anymore. The reason we don't allow food and drinks in the cave is because we don't have any rodents in there. We don't want to have them, encourage them in by leaving food scraps. Food also makes a mess in the cave that we've got to clean up later. That also includes chewing gum because chewy often loses its flavour in the cave and somehow it finds its way to the floor and that makes a big mess too. So that's another rule we have. Take photos as you like on your way through, but we will have a fairly big group. If you're at the back of the line, you'll still see everything. If you're in the front, back or middle, it's all the same. You'll see it all. But don't get left behind. So when we move forward, I'll be at the front when we get going follow the group through rather than getting stuck behind because you might find yourself tangled up with another group and not quite knowing where you are. If you've got sunglasses on, um, you won't need them on inside the cave, obviously. Not a bad idea to stick them in a pocket or a bag because we've got some low roos which we have to be careful of for our heads anyway and if you've really got sunglasses up there, they'll end up getting scratched. Or you'll lean over a great big hole to see what's down there and you'll lose them down the big hole. When you see the big hole, you know why I'm not going down there to get them. All right, so you just got to remember to duck when you need to. Parks Victoria manage the reserve here in conjunction with the Gunai Kurnai people. So I'd just like to acknowledge the Gunai Kurnai elders, both past and present, and also the Gunai Kurnai people being traditional custodians of the land. Now, I can't see right at the back. No one's got big backpacks or anything. They're going to get them stuck halfway through. All good. No selfie sticks. If you have, keep it closed up because you'll either break something in the cave or wreck your camera. Not a silly idea if you've got a baseball cap on. We won't laugh at you, I promise. You guys might be all right, but you do lose a fair bit of peripheral vision. So it's not a silly idea to put them on back to front. But you don't have to. It's just, you, you can put them back to front, don't you want to? Is that not cool? I thought that was cool anyway, so I thought you'd be okay doing that. Any questions about anything, guys? Now, if you guys have just come up the top now, you're on the 11.15 tour. Do you know what I'm going to get? I can shimmy. Here's our first challenge, guys. Look at that. Don't make it sound really hard because everyone's going to get worried at the back. As you come around the corner here, we will be in single file for the next little while. There's a great big calcite arch here. It's awesome. This is about as hard as it's going to get. So if you can duck easy enough to bend and get underneath that, the rest of the cave is a breeze for you. Okay? If you have trouble with this one, Yell out, I'll hear you up the front and we'll deal with it if it happens, but everyone will be fine, I'm sure. Just, re just remember to duck, providing you don't get any fine. Yeah, I'll come, come, come. I don't think you want it. Ruby, Ruby. Tell something to the audience. Hi.
is inside. It's so small when it's like here. Yeah, so. Um, oh, yeah, so I, I'm. Um, oh this, my god. This that that. Oh, now, for the little guys at the back that are looking for the fairy dust, when you walk around the corner here on your left, you're going to see oh, some. Start cool. sparkling a little bit, but we'll stop, I promise, when we've got a big room full of it. Yeah. Is this oh, the fairy, fairy dust? Oh, yeah. We all doing okay? Yeah. Everyone happy? Yeah. No head injuries yet? No. Oh, we're doing good. Let's keep going. We'll find somewhere we can get the tall people upright, eh? So it's good. Are you ducking, Sammy? No. No, I was going to say you don't need to. I, I'm sure I I'd probably just stand up straight too, but I'm ducking for some reason. <laughs> hey, dude. Oh, that's really amazing. Hey, hey, see that little gap? Yeah. See that little gap there? That little gap there is where they would have crawled through when they first come in. Cool. Just as you come around the corner here, guys, I know you're single file and half, you're bending half, but when you come around the corner here, just especially for the kids, because they're about the right height, you'll see where we've excavated to get through. And you can, see, if you have a look at the original floor, you'll see how tiny the hole was to get through. But have a look at what we found when we got through here. This is, wow, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Check that out. It is a little bit, and you know you're absolutely right, when it's really wet it's just like a waterfall. It actually becomes a waterfall, we've got an even better one in front. So as you come through the tunnel here guys, on your left, you'll see there's, some, um, there's a, a, a really nice water feature, it's actually called a rim pool. Have a look at that one, we'll go forward because just in front of us we've got a platform with no chicken wire where you get some good photos, yes. Uh, is there like fossils? There are, and I'll show them to you shortly. Okay. Because I was waiting to see the fossils. Waiting to see them. Do not touch them. If you like the water features, have a look at this one. Oh my god. You need your cameras ready here, won't you? Imagine if we went forward. How cool is that? That's so much better. It's surreal. Now, down the other end here, we've got a spot with no chicken wire, which I can get you into, um, and that way you'll be able to get a good photo without chicken wire in there. Oh my god, that's such a good question. Isn't it like the car? Yeah, like upside down. And it's not even moving, it's just sitting there. Don't wait there, stop when you get there, right? Don't wait there, stay there. And we'll get everyone in there to get some photos. It's a good spot to get photos without. And yeah. Now you guys go, alright? Oh, yeah, that one. Wow. Oh, yeah. We're I feel like you can go inside and get You know, can one of you? This is like a big house. It's like an extinct animal, for sure. Can you see any fossils here? I think there will be fossils inside this, but it looks so cool huh? inside. No, no, I'll be here, no, I'll be here, no. Okay, this is Emet and Denise's Prabhaji. They're my friends and my older friends, of course. Yeah, and, they, and I am seven years old. There's plenty of room. And I'm ten. And I'm ten. Can you guys tell something about this place, please? Uh, do you guys think this is so cool? Yeah, I think this is so cool. And, and for another thing, we are the leaders of this line. That's so cool. So, let's meet at the next place. Yeah. Now we are going to see some fairy dust. Okay. This is sort of real fairy dust. So, get ready to see it. Well, well, this is a big 
माई कैप पे देनी था उन्हें ओलो ओलो भाई वो ना दिनों देवरी पार्ट है तो हरी 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 Little fairy dust. Amen. Oh, so I didn't look very last year. Those are very big. Alienated name, Major Mayonica. Are they alien cheap? Are they? Oh, they look very last year, too. Now, the chamber we're standing in now is called the Reed Chamber. Mr. Reed was one of the early lands managers, um, which is no big deal. It's called the Reed Chamber. What is a big deal, though, is the calcite crystal, right? We got everyone in nearly? Uh, Just... Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Now, we're going to find some interesting oh. things on the way. We'll see how far back the message gets again, all right? Let's go. Let's go and have a look up the front. Yeah, really, really, really. I'm not going to sit down here. 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 No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. 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 Have you guys got good imaginations? No? A little girl the other day told me you've got to have good imagination in your brain. It's a good spot to have it, isn't it? As you come around the corner here, guys, we're going to do a left-hand turn. As you come down the corner here, if you've got a good imagination, you might see some fried eggs. Hay eggs frying away, sunny side up. They're actually stalagmites starting to form, but they look a bit like cave eggs frying away, don't they? If you can see the cave eggs, I'll show you the bait and we go with it later. So just as you do a little bit. It's just so much cool. Look at all the nice stuff. This stuff just looks so much cool. Wow, it's so dark. It's dark here. It's getting darker. It's getting darker. And now we're again back to the light. This is just so much good. See? 
It looks so amazing. Now, I've got a question for you lads at the front. If the river's coming through here and dissolving limestone as it comes through here, if it gets to that wall and it goes, gee, that's a bit hard, but it's soft here, which way would the river go? Mm. Mm. That's right, we'd go the easy way, wouldn't it? Just like people, go the easy way. So that's why we're zigzagging, because the river under here zigzagged as it found the easiest way to go. What are you thinking you're doing? Are we doing something? And I could see I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. Wait a second. Tata, I need to see this. Wow, that's cool. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that, guys. Now, I know we're single file, but as you come through. Where I've got the yeah. torchlight going down here at the front. As you come through this next chamber, just have a look. You've got some chicken wire to your left. Have a look above your left shoulder as it comes through. And what you're going to see hanging from the roof, roof is a blanket, a shawl, or a beach towel. And you'll see all the colours in it. Now the no. colours are minerals, oxides, no. even organic matter from outside. So we call that one a blanket. On your left hand side, above your shoulder, there's some chicken wire. Oh, it looks straight up, the light will stay on there if you have a look. If you do miss it, that's okay, we've got more in front. But have a look on your way past. How is that? Wow. That's the reason that they're going to be tomorrow. Wow, this is so much cool. Excuse me. No, there's something pretty cool. You the whole time from the whole time. Can I hold it? See out there? Pretty cool. Okay, wait a sec after this. It's worth hanging over the rail here just for a second when you get here. A lot of people That's come in this so part cool. of the cave. We were all single file on a hot day, and someone will ask how much oxygen we've got. It's a fair call, isn't it, really? We've got really three kilometres of cave. We're in one section of it, but we're also surrounded by huge air voids around us. So just here, about two steps in front of where I'm standing, there's a spotlight straight up. You'll be able to see that on your way under. Let's go. All right, so guys, just let's have a look keep right, going. Right there, see? Right there. It's pretty good, isn't it? YouTube in front of me. Who's holding the camera? Wait, wait. Camera. Wait, hold on. Do you want to drop it? Look at that. Do you, do you guys eat two minute noodles? No. You don't? Spaghetti? No. Noodles? No. No. Because we've got plenty of spaghetti and noodles. That, look how bright it is, though. Yeah, they're a bit funny. They're called halitides. We'll show everyone when we get down a bit further the rest of those ones. And look up there. Those are small crystals. They're pretty small, but they're so cool. Come on, come on. This is a pretty oh. big cave. Right. Almost bumped my head, guys. No. Just keep walking. Are you all doing okay? Yes. yes. Yep. This is pretty cool. It's pretty cool walking through here, isn't it? There's something different. See? Look at that. Look at this. It's so shiny. That looks like it's melted, guys. Yeah. But a lot of people think that there's fairies inside this. Keep your head down, you know. Everybody thinks that there's fairies inside this. Stop. I thought this was a fairy cave. I my head again. Did you think it was a fairy cave because it's got fairy that. dust? Yes. Yeah. It's still Let's the royal it. cave. By the way, we can't touch that any of this. You, didn't it? So yeah. Now, if you go down into a cave, what have you got to do at some time? Uh, if you go all the way down into a cave, what are you going to do at some point? Go up. That's absolutely right. So, folks, we've got some stairs to go up. Not very many. I promise when we get to the top of the stairs, we'll stop in the Princess Royal Chamber, which is a great big room where you'll all be able to stand up right again and get some really good photos. We'll stop there and have a few minutes here for photos. But on the way up the stairs, there's some things I'll show you on the way, all right? And uh, for those of you at the back, I'll point them out a couple of times so you don't miss them. I'm going there because if you drop, we can't get the camera back. This is going to be so cool. Are you videoing? Yeah. 
Смотри. Who found that first? You did? And, and you then, said it was a big tower? And then you. What that is, that's Cleopatra's needle. Ooh. Great big stalactite. See that one? Yeah. Whoa. So as you're coming up the stairs here, guys, for you, you guys at the back, I'll point out again so don't, you don't miss it. But for everyone up the front here, Cleopatra's needle. Mm. It's a great big stalactite. We've got it protected by that frame for obvious reasons. Yep. If you have a look above it, you'll see that funny coloured straw there. Yeah. That's actually where the water comes in. Oh. So when it comes in, comes in rapidly, it falls to the floor. So a clear Petra's needle is a stalactite that's growing up. All right, let's go and have a look at something else. A good spot to get a photo is just when you walk past that. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Yeah, look at that. That's long and shiny. Yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, and all the way in there. That's, that's big, isn't it? Like, Reckon we'll fit in there. There's shiny stuff in there. Yeah. How are we going on the stairs, guys? Everyone all right? Yep. Yeah. Just don't, I don't want you to miss, so I'll point it out again when I get a bit further up for you folk that are down further. And you won't miss it anyway, but on your right when you come up the stairs, there's a stainless steel mesh. Behind that mesh is Cleopatra's needle. Cleopatra's needle is a big stalactite, and it's being fed from that straw up above it just there. And also on the roof here as you come through, you'll see these things that look a little bit like two-minute noodles. They're a bit different, aren't they? These straws gone wrong, they're big straws. They're actually called halictites, they defy gravity. And they're probably forming with capillary action. Uh, what's the blanket? That one there, that's another blanket. So we'll have a look at that as well as we go up, mate. Hey? Let's go. Did you find did you see you saw the eggs earlier, didn't you? Oh, yeah. There's the bacon. Go with the eggs. <laughs> the bacon to go with the eggs. Another big blanket. Yeah, after 10 minutes, the gun is stopped. Thanks. Yeah, that's good. That's good. There's plenty of room in here. It's a good spot, actually, if you want to get a photo. Oh, guys, tell me something about this. Uh, this place is cool. Very old. It looks so much like the princesses because it's just shiny. Yeah, you remember when you were in the line, you said, this is good for pixies. Pixies? Yeah, pixies could be moving inside here. Pixie princesses, of course. But they're too small to live here, that's the thing. Yeah. 30, 40 million years ago, right? Yeah, the whole thing. It's 30, 40 million years old. That's, it's a cat. It's, it's full of water once, but it has extinguished, extinguished and now it's just dry. I don't know but it still has a little water. Dry and why even? And, and this whole cave is made of water. As you see, we could uh, move on to the next. That will have water coming over. Still, you're still coming through. No, we're not at all. So, so we can actually see the water coming yeah, over, right. but the, the cave won't get to the point where we're going to be flooded and have to shut it. Right. The fairy cave might have three or four inches of water over the floor, and then we do just because people get wet feet. Yeah. You know? How you going, guys? Way out the back there, all good? Have we got everyone? Good. How are you enjoying your walk so far? Good. 
The chamber or room we're standing in right now is called the Princess Royal Chamber. Now, the Princess Royal Chamber is actually the oldest chamber in this part of the cave system. We know that simply because it's closest to the surface. So what happens, as a cave develops, it develops because the water table's dropped. So if there's water going through here and the water table drops, leaves us with an air-filled space. There we, there's our cave. Water table drops, air-filled space, there's our cave. So obviously, the closer to the surface you get, the older the chambers are, the further you go down, the newer the chambers are. And then it sort of makes sense, doesn't it? Someone's gone to sleep. <laughs> well, we won't make it. Shh. <laughs> so then it makes more sense that now when it rains, this water has been coming through into this chamber for a longer period of time, into that air-filled space. So then we get far greater calcite formations. Things like our wedding cake there. <laughs> or, or some people call it a wedding cake, some people call it a fairy cake, some of the um, cupcake, some people just call it... Um, yeah, all sorts of different things. We've got the upside. We've got an upside city in here too. Do you want to see that? Yes. There's the inverted city. Um, we've got a big crocodile in here too. Do you want to see the big crocodile? Yes. Here's a big crocodile. Look at that. Oh. Have a look up there. We're underneath him. And, he, and you know why he lives in here? Because oh, they're they're just just to make it look good, really. <laughs> yeah. And now, if I shine my torch over here and then take the torch light away, have a look where the torch light is, and if you're back here, you may well see an elephant coming towards you. Mm. Or maybe not, don't feel bad if you can't. Now, what we're going to do, guys, I need to get down, because you're going to be the leaders. Is that alright? Lead us to the skeleton chamber. Up the stairs, wait until I tell you what you've got to do. Over the stairs, when you get to another concrete floor and mud walls, that's the skeleton chamber. Stop and wait there, all right? I'll let you guys go first because I need to put these lights off. There you have a look. So I'll go and run. Don't run, don't run. Don't run, don't fight. No, I think we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. So we go. Go move, 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 move. Move! Don't touch! Don't touch! Move, move. No, 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 no! Stop. No, no, go. Let's go. Let's go. Get I in my. I, 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 I. Get my in there. Then. Stop here, yeah. Stop here! Stop here! Guys, Look at them here. Competition means Video. stupidity. Okay? Video. It is happening. And now it's getting it. Now it's being the end of the tour. So, we are going to go outside and get some no, drinks. No, it's not the end of the it's, it's not the end of the tour yet. It's almost the end of the tour, of course. But the end of the but it's close to the end of the tour. But wait until the bosses, the coach explains. Stop talking to me. Why? Why are you so mad? No, no, that is that is negative energy. No. I know you are negative. Okay, negative energy. Okay. 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 Okay.